Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the news from Shuruq TV. In our headlines tonight, U.S. Secretary of State Michael Pompeo will visit Sudan tomorrow. Al-Burhan has underlined that the army will not abandon an inch of Sudan's terrorism. Government banks to go on a strike as of Tuesday. The U.S. Secretary of the State Michael Pompeo will visit the Sudan where he will meet the Prime Minister, Dr. Abdullah Hamdok, and also the President of the Transitional Sovereign Council, Lieutenant General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan. Morgan Ortega's department spokesperson said Secretary of State Michael Pompeo will travel to Israel, Sudan, Bahrain, and the United Arab Emirates in August from the 23rd to 28th. He said the U.S. official will meet with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in Jerusalem to discuss regional security issues. In Sudan, the Secretary will meet with Prime Minister Dr. Abdullah Hamdok and Sovereign Council Chair General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan to discuss continued U.S. support for the civil-led transitional government and express support for deepening the Sudan-Israel relationship, the statement said. The Armed Forces Commander-in-Chief, the head of the Transitional Sovereign Council, Lieutenant General Burhan, has underlined that the army will not abandon an inch of Sudan's territories. Al-Burhan, who was addressing the officers, the non-commissioned officers, and the army soldiers at Wadi Sayyidna military area in Qadari, in the context of the army's 66th anniversary, said this mass rally is the message for the Sudanese people that the army stands beside the people, not against, and supports the glorious revolution. He pointed out that the army will not let the Sudanese people down and will not allow any circle to exploit their blood and efforts for its interests. He expressed support to the comprehensive change describing what happened in the country as real change. <clears throat> the Sudanese government and the Darfur armed groups still diverge on the integration of rebel combatants, which is the last sticky point in the negotiations about the security arrangements between the two parties. The negotiation process between the Sudanese government and the Sudanese Revolutionary Front Darfur track and the SLM Minni Minnawi has been completed in most of the issues related to security arrangements, except for the integration of forces, said Diu Mutok, the rapporteur of the Mediation Committee on Sunday. He pointed out that the government delegation suggested integrating the combatants of the armed groups into the regular forces within a maximum time of 39 months, while the armed movement's delegations believed that the DDR should take place over a period of seven years. Sudanese Prime Minister Dr. Abdel Hamdok and visiting Qatari diplomat Mutlaq al Qahtani discussed the Juba process for peace in Sudan on Sunday. According to the official Sudan news agency Suna, the meeting was attended by the Sudanese Foreign Minister Omar Gamaraddin and the Cabinet Minister Omar Manis. The Qatari envoy conveyed to the Prime Minister the greetings of the Qatari leadership and discussed with him the progress of the talks hosted by South Sudan government, said Suna. The official news agency said Hamdok expressed his thanks and greetings to the sisterly state of Qatar and thanked the Qatari envoy for the visit, which would strengthen the bonds of friendship and brotherhood between the two brotherly countries. The Empowerment Removal Committee decreed the termination of services of employees in state-owned institutions. The committee member Salah Manna said in the press conference held at the Republican Palace that the committee terminated the services of 341 of the employees of the Ministry of Energy and Mining, 55 of the employees of Sudan Company for Mineral Resources, 30 employees from Sudan Air, and six of the employees of the Civil Aviation Authority. The Coordinative Office of Government Banks announced a two-day strike to start Tuesday to press for banking system reform. The chairman of the steering committee of Al Balad Bank, Zaki Muhammad Zaki, told soon a forum that the family bank has already went into strike on Sunday. The coordinative office stressed that the national economy will not improve unless the banking system reformed. The member of the Central Council for Banks called for just and transparent of the distribution of funding according to the requirements of the economic sectors, adding that the companies of the supporters of the defunct regime still control the revenues of funding. The Federal Ministry of Health has announced 59 new cases of coronavirus pandemic, in addition to three deaths and 16 recoveries. According to the report, 16 states did not record any cases out of the 18 states in the country. 
as Khartoum state recorded 57 and Northern state two cases of COVID-19. Hereof, the ministry stressed the need to adhere to the health emergency law, apply preventive instructions and immediately report suspected cases. And now we remind you with the headlines. U.S. Secretary of State Michael Pompeo will visit Sudan tomorrow. Al-Burhan has underlined that the army will not abandon an inch of Sudan's territories. Government banks to go on a strike as of Tuesday. Well, that was everything from Shuruq TV. Thank you for following and see you tomorrow.